If you used a mile-long ruler to Those measure a huge. coastline, you'll get a number that sounds about right. All right, here we're talking about difference in precision. This would be the equivalent of estimating a reactor's neutron flux by averaging over the entire core. Useful in certain situations, but it's going to hide localized hotspots. But if you switch to a yardstick, there you go. you'll measure in more detail, giving you a much bigger number. This will be like moving to pin power distribution in a reactor. The finer your mesh size in neutronics calculations, the more variation and complexity you uncover. And if you use a one-foot ruler, the number will grow again. In the case of coastlines, you have dramatic differences, but in the case of nuclear instruments, it's not going to be nearly as dramatic. This is because every time the unit of measurement shrinks, you're measuring smaller curves and details that the larger stick missed. As you get closer and closer, this would be the equivalent of measuring the grain boundary surface area of your uranium fuel pins themselves. The closer you zoom in, the more detail you see and the more curves there are to measure, meaning the length of a coastline keeps getting longer almost like it never ends kind of like fractals mathematically you could keep subdividing but practically though the cutoff is going to be the individual grain of sand size assuming you even want to get close to that precise or the individual fuel pen in the case of the